Hello guys and welcome back to the wonderful world of Minecraft with me, Xnef Execution. Now at the moment we're actually at the front of our base, um, just looking at, you know, seeing how it looks at the moment. Let's just get up here. Um, I'm actually really liking it. I mean, this tower probably needs a little bit of neating it up, neatening up, but I'm liking the dome style shapes and sort of that over there. This still needs to be covered up and obviously the nether portal still needs to be moved. But yeah, I'm liking it. Obviously, this is not. This is still only temporary. We've got a lot of stuff from this farm now. Um, I'll quickly show you the farm chest. Nothing else has changed. I will show you the uh, tree farm in a moment. Still been farming the pumpkins and the melons. Obviously, some of the melons with uh, silk touch. So, as I said, I would complete the walls off camera for the tree farm. Um, we did. I did have one suggestion. And it was to continue this style here, just having a loop like this around the edge. So that's what I've done. It's just a nice loop around the edge here. We've still got the um, upside down stairs on the outside. It's really nice. It's really simple. It's going to keep spiders out as well, which is always good. Um, so if we just... Oh, speaking of spiders, where are you? We probably actually do need to... torch the top of this while we're here so yeah if we come out of here so this is literally it it's just half down upside down half uh, half stairs half stairs upside down stairs I kind of like it like this and I like having a little walkway bit around the edge get out of the block there we go so yeah this is it for now um, I still haven't had you know, I need to use this yet, but it is here for when we do. So yeah, that is the tree farm up to where we want it. So, today, as promised, it is the Wither Skeleton Farm. We are getting ready for episodes four, episode 40 of the Wither Farm. So, um, I've been looking at tutorials on how to do it. Now we seem to have a lot of dirt from when we did a lot of, you know, terraforming and we don't actually have that much cobblestone. Now we do need a fair amount of blocks. So I don't want to build out of dirt even though all it is is a spawning pad. But we may have to We may be building out of dirt. I don't want to build something else out of netherrack again because that is obviously the most that is the easiest block to find. Um, I have been thinking of going down here and just clearing out, which I already have, you know, done here in the past. Apparently, I don't actually remember doing this, but I think I needed cobblestone bad, so I could just, you know, run through here with the super pick and collect me some cobblestone. Um, the only problem is this does intercept through the town, especially where the creeper exploded on our first house. So I think I'm going to do this for a little while, get a good amount of cobblestone. I want to do it out of a stone, um, this time I actually have a decent looking farm. So I'll probably go until this pick runs out and then I'll come back. Alright, and we're back. So this is the total amount of cobblestone at the moment. This should be absolutely fine. Um, we're just going to double make sure in a moment. So, give me a moment. Uh, what was I going to do? Right, we need to go and enchant some potions. We actually have a use for the potion room. Um, because we're going to be working in the nether, I would really, really, really like... Uh, have we got anything in the brewing stand? No really need some let's get a piece of this uh, but, but, but I'll think of it in a minute fire resist potions now I don't actually know if we have any blaze powder but for fire resist potions you need a magma cream um, now obviously we have loaded f oh we do that's good okay oh we actually have magma creams in there that's cool. Um, obviously, we have tons and tons of slime balls. That's not the issue, and we will have blaze powders soon, so we will be able to craft them. So, what we have I already put them in. I have. Okay, 
go and we will extend it when this finishes so even if we fall in the lava we should be okay because we won't be hurt by it and the blaze should not do that much damage um, I've bought the other f uh, pick that we had in the ender chest might as well use it up so fire resist for three minutes this will put it up to eight minutes so all I need to do is grab some torches and we'll head over to the nether and I'll see you there alright and welcome to the nether now as you can see right in front of us I don't know if you can quite see him just there there is actually a wither skeleton down there now this is the prime this is a really really good example and a good place to build a wither farm it is on a bridge piece of a nether, nether fortress and it's in the middle of a lava lake which means as long as the chunk that the end we're going to use is fully in the lava we don't have to worry about blocking any uh, spawn rates off unless obviously some of this stuff but I think that's the roof of the nether so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drink this and we're gonna clear this place out so these don't do anything yeah you can't do anything to me blaze thank you we're gonna push this guy off the edge see ya obviously they don't die to it now this is where it gets into the technical stuff let's get rid of that and give me some stacks of this now right let me see where this chunk begins right the new chunk is hang on what we're doing on I gotta be so careful Okay, right. If you look on the X coordinate right now, um, after the coordinate, there's a slash slash and then a C. Now, the C stands for chunk. So, as you can see, we are in chunk 14. And each chunk is 15, or is 16 by 16, but the number will only count to 15. Because the next block is 0, which would be the 16th block. So, we are currently in a chunk. Oh, that ghast. We're currently in a chunk. There's also one we could do over there if we really wanted to. Which actually is probably better. Let's actually do it over there. Um, I'll lose these pieces. That's actually a more... That is actually a better one because of more of it is covered by the lava lake. And look, I see more is spawning over there. They spawn anywhere that there is a bridge piece. But the one that is this side is more in the lava, so there is less work for me to do. So let's actually go with that one. Now this this farm will have the only func will, the only function of this farm will be to give us wither skulls. Now we've killed the wither, but he only gave us. I do actually need some blaze rods, so we'll. Now you can go away. Well, purely to be to give us um, wither skulls, so we can fight withers. Get out of here! Get out of here! Sharpness! Oh, you gave us coal. I thought we got lucky then. Get out of here! Okay, so now this is beautiful. It's completely in. Okay, let's see. Right, this should be the end of a chunk. Now, this is the start of a new chunk. Now, wherever there is a piece of naturally spawned nether rack, or nether brick, should I say, whatever chunk that is in, a wither can spawn in it. So, we want to utilize that. So, if we go from 3 to 15... You want to go from the Z and the X on zeros. So, right, this is the zero right here. So, that's a new chunk. A wither cannot spawn on this block. So, I'll put a block like that. So, if we now go this way until the X is 15, there we go. So, that will go all the way over there. Now if we go this way until it says zero. And 
something like that and then that'll be that block and then if we can go all this way yep. this is why we have the fire resist on if I go all this way all the way back to the actual fortress itself now this is the bit that's going to take the most blocks we will need to fill this in can hear a with a skeleton somewhere I think he's up there there may actually be a spawn place up there now obviously we can do this one as well which we probably will do right, hang on have I done this wrong because that was on a why is that 8 1 yes because that would be the zero block yet yeah, now that's fine I think I got. I thought I got my math wrong. That's all. So, all the way this way. I'll show you the build of one pad, and then if I continue them on, I will show you afterwards. Oh, there's a blaze. You better not hit me off. They can't set me on fire, but I don't know if they can hit me off. So I'm not taking any chances. they don't seem to be doing okay there are any arrows anyway so that's cool if he gets close he gets close has got to be filled in anyway so we'll just go this way like so voila now this will all be filled in this can come down and so on and so forth so this once filled in actually no this is not done yet is it let me think where would zero zero of both chunks be? Ah, oh, there's zero zero of one chunk right here. So zero zero of the other chunks would be should be seven and seventeen. Which would be here there's zero zero of this chunk. So this chunk here is the spawn. If I put, if I actually bring this over, so this is one chunk right here. That if we fill in, they can spawn on right there. This bit here is a chunk. So I will. This one, no matter what, will be filled in. No torches. No nothing. I'm also going to build a little ledge around the edge, which is why I've got them there. Now, we've already got a couple of spawns. They're not on the pad, but we've got some spawns. Wow, quite a lot of spawns, actually. Come on. Sharpness sword, baby. So, yeah. I'm going to take this wall down, and I'll finish filling this in. And I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so the first, the actual spawning chunk. So everything in this is within the 17.8 chunk. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go stand back over here and see how efficient it is. So come here. You're going to be a pain, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Come here. Um, unfortunately, Blaze have the same spawn properties as Wither Skeletons. So there will be the equal amount of Blaze spawn on there as well as the rest of this place come here I will need to torch this place to stop spawns which is not much of an issue considering most of the place is over lava so there's not much spawning pad anyway but just to prevent it there we go 
Um, I'm not 100% sure that this is how we can stop it um, because I fear that that will stop some of the escaped light. Will you stop it? I fear that there's a platform under up there and I think that these mobs can still spawn in light or not, which means I'll just have to half slab this place. Screw it. I'm running so he doesn't spawn. Now, I've just seen a blaze spawn down there. Nothing spawning on that one, which is good. That spawn is not active. We're too far away. There's magma cream. Alright. Oh, he despawned. That's good. Okay. Anything at all spawning. Not at the moment. But, oh, hello. Hi. How are you? I can't actually. Huh. Let's put a block. Um, I didn't actually want to do that. Block that in to stop them spawning. Come on, spawn. Could take a nice long run. Why not? Now, I could be wrong with this, and we may have to just use the fortress as it is. But from the videos I have seen on the YouTubes, this is the way that they spawn. So, where's the magma cream? I actually want to kill it. And no magma cream. Yep, should have expected that. Now, it is possible that they can spawn outside of the Nether Fortress. As long as they are in a chunk that nether, rack, nether brick sorry, naturally spawned in. So it is completely possible that they spawn, they can spawn down here. Go out. Thank you. So always worth a quick double check. Especially if you're on the hunt for the skulls. In which we are. Ah, get up. Now we're in range of that spawner. So yeah, let's have a quick check back. And if not, I will continue to build the other spawners for now. There's a ghast. Is that a ghast? No, that's the blocks we placed. Wow. That was an idiotic move of mine. So yeah, what I might actually do is just square off this place and see what we can get. So I'll be back. Alright, so I'm just doing the last little mock-up bits here. Just clearing out this piece here. Um, just so we can finish it off. But this is it. This is literally... It took me for absolutely ever to get th this far. But this is just a massive platform now. It's going to look so weird from the outside. But if we can tear it up to this point... It is literally just, I'm going to take all these torches out. Now, if nothing spawns here, then there's a serious issue, but... Let's take these torches out. There's even one down there. Look, they're taunting me. We, get a, we better get some spawns here. I'd be so disappointed if we don't. Why? Stupid ghast. Right, let's go stand. Oh, a mega cream. Oh. See ya. Oh, and we've had some pigmen spawns. Can't really tell if that's a good thing or not. With the skeleton still over there. See if we can get it as an unloaded chunk and then 
Oh, hello. Give me magma creams. You didn't. Let's go over to this side. Need to block off this lava at some point, which we will do. Let's kill this wither skeleton. Come on. Get off the edge. Don't want to knock your skull in the air in the lava if I can help it. Hello. Yeah. That gets rid of him. Okay. Is the skeleton still going to be here? No. Uh, just oh, there's some blaze and some pigmen. Can't say I see any withers at the moment. But hey, there is always time. But yeah, as long as we can get at least three skulls for the moment, we won't need any more skulls unless we are fighting more withers for more beacons. Which obviously is completely possible. I definitely do plan to do more than one if we can. Oh crap. Yep. Go, 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 go. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, welcome back. Unfortunately, I did actually die. I thought I was going to try and get out of it by throwing another ender pearl, but unfortunately, I did die. If this with a farm actually does work I'm gonna consider it a worthy loss we didn't have anything that was super super valuable the only thing that I'm really annoyed about is the sword um, what I did was quickly just grab um, another full set of iron armor no enchantments another pick and obviously another sword and a couple of pieces of bread from the wheat um, that blaze rod is just from a blaze that came out from over there so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go up here and check. Um, it took me a while to get back here, but there we go. So we've got a wither here. Come on, just give me a skull. No? Okay. Looks like we're going to need to make a looting sword to see if we can increase the chances. We only seem to be getting spawns of... Uh, oh, that was close. Of pigmen on this platform. So what I'm considering, I think we need to go up there and check it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to base, re-gear properly, and I'll meet you back here. Alright, so we're heading back now. All I did was grab some pearls and some torches. As I said before, I'm not 100% sure that the torches are actually going to stop the spawns, but um, I don't really have enough blocks at the moment to afford that many um, half slabs, so it's going to have to do... So it's gonna be it's gonna do something at least. Come here. You've been annoying me this whole time. Ah, screw you. We're still not getting much on here. Now I'm I'm really sure it's because of this platform up here. Everything that's in this little area. Here we go, right. Things are spawning up here. And obviously these fires are helping. But we did hear a skeleton up here before. So I just want to be extra careful. Now literally anything in these chunks, no matter how high it can spawn. Oh god, okay. I haven't got feather falling on, need to remember that. Break, thank you. Okay, let's jump around here for a minute. Stop these as much as many of these spawns as we can obviously I could do with just half slabbing the crap out of this place but as I said I can't really afford to do that right now not with my lack of cobblestone it's been a while since I've actually been caving um, I did so much caving before that was just loaded for a while so that should hopefully prevent oh, prevent a decent amount of the spawning issue
Hopefully. I see, I cannot guarantee it. Oh god, okay. Whoa, hello. Would you look at that? Um I see two magma creams and four willow wither skeletons. Jesus. Okay, I think we can class this as a success. Even if we do have to stand up there for it to work. Um, there is, there are two magma creams taking a bath. We're going to get some health and we're actually going to go fight these. Oh, there goes that one. Um, we're going to try and do these one at a time though. Let's get rid of these. Bye. Yes, I like this. This is looking good. We're well on our way to get the wither done in the next in the next two episodes. All right, let's attract one over if we can. Come on, let's get, there we go. Right now they're slow. You just don't want them to hit you. Okay, just bones. Next, I think the other one started to head down the bridge. Yep, just bones. Hey buddy, let's go. Let's roll. Just bones. Are oh, you stupid blaze? Dude, can you put me out? <laughs> right. The other one's just down there. But I'm loving this pad. This is good. I'm liking it. I think it was well worth the time invested. Come Oh, for God's sake. They're such pansies. And he despawned. Or did he fall off? No, I believe he despawned. Yeah, bring it. I'm going to go over here and let more spawn. I need to kill this blaze though. Come here, you pansy man. Nope, oh, one spawned over there. But until we can see this being a beautiful success, I'm not going to end the episode. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this guy on. Come on. Oh, cheeky bugger. I can't really jump. Oh, oh, damn coal. Got me excited. Oh, well. Right. That is a, a large cream. Come here. There aren't many of these around. I'm going to take full advantage. Yes, there's a magma cream. Whoa. Okay. Calm down, buddy. There we go. I got one out of it. Well, I am not going to pearl up to that again. I'm going to pearl to there. Because I know I can make it. We're not going to land in lava this time. Now, what it does seem to be that we get a lot actually on this bridge. So if it comes to it, we may actually... Uh, yeah, see, we get three here. I may platform the bridge the whole bridge oh he hit me I got his sword though not that there's any use to me come on run out oh, I can keep come on come down here thank you I don't want to knock them in the lava, that's what I'm really scared of. Ah, oh, it's going to kill me, isn't it? It's going to kill me, it's going to wither me away. <sighs> no! Let's see if I can get my stuff back. Should do. I'm not really bothered by anything we lost, I just wanted to see if the pad works. See how much of that iron we can get back. So what I might do for episode 39 is actually finish the pad off all the way along that bridge area. And I might start to half slab. We will see. But yes, I'm going to... From what we have seen in terms of spawn rates when we went up top, I'm going to consider this a pretty good success. It's not uh, as good as it could be, by no means. Oh my god, oh there's a weather skeleton, weather, a weather skeleton over there. 
and there's a couple already on this bridge so it's doing something I think all our stuff landed here actually alright you don't seem to be able to sprint hit these guys away that was all bones alright let's put this armor on missing the boots but not the end of the world and the torches actually Okay, right. Oh no, there's the torches. And there's some coal. I swear I saw one, but maybe it despawned when we went down. You! I'm just going to be a pansy man, so... Leave you to it. So, if we went up here for a bit... This one to see one more time. If we let them roam around and spawn a bit. She's put a torch here as well. A couple of little dark... Oh, that's not dark. <laughs> Give me the torch. Thank you. That probably is. Hello, ghast. Boom. Boom. Oh. Ah. Uh, why am I not hitting them back? And now I'm going to burn to death. Please run out, please run out, please run out, please run out. Ah! Burning takes so long. I was slain by a zombie pig, man. How? Oh, great. Are they going to be after me? Please don't be after me. Oh, wrong way. Jump. Damn it, minecart. Run, 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 run. Oh, hello. Sup. Bro. I have to keep pushing this back, aren't I? No, it didn't move. Great. Love Minecraft physics. Now, I can't remember where I died. I don't see any wither skeletons. Oh, I died up there, didn't I? Crap, how am I going to get up there? I don't have any blocks. Well done, Reese. you thought about this. Are you aggroed on me? Let me just check. No. Alright, guys, I'll be right back when I've got some blocks. Alright, so I'm just, you know, I just went back and got a stack of dirt. Um, let's quickly just... This is literally all I did. I literally went back, grabbed a stack of dirt, and we're here, so... Get up. Did I randomly place down the... Oh, no, look. He's got all my stuff. No. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, that's it. Ah! Oh, for God's sake. Right, screw it. Do you know what? He can have my stuff. It's only a bit of iron. I can get iron. So, I think I'm going to call this an episode. We didn't have anything valuable. I'm not going to kill myself over having it. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly run back and check the pad one more time. Let things spawn in. And I'm not going to consider it 100% success, but I think we did pretty well. Right, go over there. Move. Move. Thank you. Edge around it. So, yeah, I've got some plans for the nether. Not, like, that many. So, we'll see how it goes. So, with the skeleton over there. I saw him. There's a wither and a blaze. There's my stack of dirt, and there's some more blaze. So, yeah, I'll probably continue work on this and see if I can improve the efficiency. But this is where the wither skeleton farm is going to be, and we're going to get us some wither skulls. Probably with a looting sword and stuff like that. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.